if I was to entertain the the reality of resource becoming a mm -hmm. show that's professionally produced and becomes an international hit, if I'm to entertain that narrative and I carry on um, painting that picture, that version of reality, that could very well happen if I really wanted it to. It it, it feels like it's that scary, um, like uncanny valley or something, when um, it feels and seems just scarily real, but somehow it's just not quite right. And it it's like that with these ideas that like without without extensive rational thought in fact with the minimal amount of rational thought if if attuned purely to the um, the ideas as they form whilst in a higher state all of that can manifest all of that can be true all of you know <laughs> whatever you want whatever you desire you can manifest like that's it's it's a truth imagine if that was an actual universal truth imagine if society were all unanimously like collectively coming to the same assumption that these wondrous capabilities are just beyond our reach right now because we're still enthralled in rapture enraptured um in the ego experience, right? In a lower state. And so if using a show like this, um, a story, telling a story that connects to a massive audience um, and they resonate with it, which is the whole point, right? And you get them to start from, from the beginning. You start from, from, from blue pill status and you finally tune the audience through good storytelling right and so you climb and climb and climb to uh resonating with a higher frequency right higher state and then you're right there along with all of the story details you're pulling together all the same patterns and you're connecting all the same dots and you're reflecting on your own experiences like this is too eerily close to the truth this is so crazy but yet you're so sucked in because it seems so um so uncanny that there must be substance to it there must be truth to it and so you're just invested to find out if it's all just a work of fiction or not and of course it's not like that's the thing but i mean i'm saying it now because this these are like i don't know like the making of memoirs of resource. Um, but yeah, I. so all of this is going on and I'm like, could it all be true? Could it all be real? Yes, yes, like get on with it. Just manifest it and you will see. Just manifest it and you will see. Like practice what you preach. Um, so the more I do focus on resource as a future money earner, when when I start to think about, okay, so, okay, so, say you skip forward in the future after putting out on socials um, open links to um, some material to try and get traction, right? Try and get it picked up. If people follow it, like an open, you know, eg eg excerpts from this, I could just put them out for free on socials. And if people catch wind of it, then they're like, oh shit, you got to hear this idea for a show. And then people are like, oh, that sounds amazing. That sounds amazing. Um, we should do that. But then, you know, me as the actual, like, originator, um, the creator, I don't have a big budget, you know. So instead of me going out actively... Um, directly to the gatekeepers, you know, all the m media um, production companies um, and kind of pitching to them in this old power model. Well, the new power model is me just at least 
as if I cover my bases in terms of IP copyright, right? At least if I do that officially, um, whatever that needs to, to be done in a low budget, and then I start putting myself out there the right amount of content um, for free. And so it gives teasers to the world. And I just keep doing that. And I get into the habit of doing that. And then it picks up traction. And then people demand it to be made. It's like how Deadpool came about. It's a similar kind of story. So that's, that's like in a sneaky, roundabout, new power way of doing things where you just follow your passions, you believe in it and you want it to be true. So then you just manifest it and you find ways, you find new ways. It, it wasn't a strategic decision, not so much. You can just follow the, the um, trail of inspiration when in higher states and you really desire something strongly. Then you just have to attune to that and it will manifest. So when I think about how it could all transpire, it could go from Netflix show, like crazy popular, and then, um, you know, who knows how long it will last. It's got the potential because it keeps unraveling day by day for me. If it's unraveling day by day and I put out an episode per week, I've got such a huge buffer in time to keep thinking about new things. Or rather to be inspired by new things. So, yeah, and so Netflix shows make money, right? That would be, like, ridiculous. And then all the kind of fame and traction, and then I could spin a book off of that easily, you know, hand in hand. Um, that, or audio book or whatever it is, m multiple mediums, whatever. And then they will also make a lot of money and reach out to an even greater audience who might not have the kind of like more digital uh, TV sub subscriptions, even though everyone's got Netflix and Prime these days. So that can make a, just a preposterous amount of money and fame and recognition. And um, it would just go crazy, crazy from there. So... When I think about that scenario and this concept, it seems to have this self-fulfilling prophecy thing going on. It will beget itself, right? You apply the same rules. You get yourself attuned to a higher state. You focus on something intently. So whether that's a desire of yours or whether that's a, um, well, what else is it other than desire? That's it, right? You you just focus using your desire. And uh, and that is very strong. Because you could be motivated by different things, but it's still a desire in the end to, to focus on a particular thing, to manifest. And so you do that whilst in a higher state and it will just start manifesting and you'll start experiencing it and it'll start feeling freaky. It will start feeling magical and then you'll start trying to de decrypt it and analyze it and break it down logically. And so when you start to do that, you tune out of the higher state, you go back into your lower state and it's locked off, you know, access denied. Uh, you are, you tuned out of that information highway and, um, you're no longer able to manifest. And so then it's a negative self-fulfilling prophecy because it, it confirms its own um, lack of ability. Um, but it doesn't accept that as a truth. So it will confirm its own denial. <laughs> yeah. Um... Yeah, so the amounts of success and potential earnings could be just ridiculous, preposterous. But hey, if that's something that's a funny um, result, <laughs> uh, to just really nail home the truth that um, what I'm talking about works and is real, and is definitely worth considering, more than considering, it, that will create a paradigm shift 
in human consciousness. And even though I've dabbled in thinking in this kind of massive picture way, philosophically, like socially develop ourselves, I've dabbled in this area of thought a while ago and throughout my adulthood. But just as like fanciful thinking to flex my my mind and to ponder deeply, right? But they were never seen as an actual like confident... <laughs> confident in my ability to manifest way of thinking but now I'm starting to think what if this is just the beginning it's just what if this is just the beginning 